Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. Um, so we showed you that buy that I did off a of marketplace, all the little topper gone dolls, yep. which uh, let's see, this is exciting, y'all. Um, the pilot guy that's worth a lot of money. I, I organized everything yesterday. I actually have a whole full outfit extra, except minus. I only have one shirt. But and also like four pair of shoes, two briefcases. This little outfit here, so we found a sold comp recently for seventy dollars. Just for that. For the the jacket, this little. The, this is for a guy too. This is a guy outfit. <laughs> That's amazing, huh? Yeah. So, in fact, remember the comp of the doll we showed you? That was what, like three hundred dollars. Yep. Um, this was what he was wearing in the um, listing. So yeah, um, we have some good stuff. So. I'm going to get into that today. I'm excited. Um, speaking of marketplace buys, I put Lonnie onto something um, a couple days ago. He, he went and picked it up. Candace was, this was when Candace was in bed sick. Yeah. She Bored. Was, <laughs> yeah. And uh, she sends me a message about a chess set. And, um, well, I'll I hated that you had to go by yourself. That made me nervous. Why? Just go, because first of all, you went to, you didn't meet in public, right? No, I met at their house. Yeah. And it did get, it was a little sketchy, to be honest. So <laughs> let me tell y'all what happened. So Candace sends me the thing. We contact him. It takes all day to get, yeah. to get everything set up. They, they weren't very responsive, huh? No, not at all. They never responded to me. <laughs> no, they never, we both contacted her. I didn't know Candace had already contacted them. So anyways, um, chess set for a hundred dollars i'll show y'all more in a second but um i get there and there's a man in the driveway working on a truck and uh he looks at me like what are you doing here <laughs> and i'm like uh i have i verify i was at the correct address and i said yeah i'm here to buy a chess set and he's like oh yeah and he's like man i've been fussing at my old lady about that chess set for an hour now. I told her I wanted to sell that thing for 200 and she put it up for 100 <laughs> And I was like, oh boy. Here we go. So he he goes in, he says, give me a minute. He goes in and then he comes back out and he goes, she's getting it cleaned up. I'm like, oh boy. Oh, this is cleaned up? Yeah, this is cleaned up. And I'm like, okay. And the the ad said that everything was good everything was intact not broken whatever and even and when i messaged her i specifically asked um is the condition good on all the pieces and she never answered me and we know why now. yeah so after all this i never talked to the woman that supposedly posted the ad and that i was communicating with i only talked to her husband <laughs> who was supposedly mad that she sold it for a hundred dollars and she was hiding because she didn't disclose the condition right so it was really sketch uh, this happens this happens a lot actually it does which is i look i hate buying off marketplace but sometimes when you see a deal like this you just have to do it i mean yeah with all the negatives we said we're still gonna make really good money off yeah of so this is the chest set here and I did, I knew exactly what it was going on whenever, whenever I bought it, but I started going through them and I was like, he's like, yep, they're all good. And I looked and I'm like, what about this one? You know, had a broken wing on it. And then I found more, all of these that are in here are either broken or, well, or there have been broken and the repairs, bad are, repairs. repairs are horrible. Right. Like this one they tried to paint looks like with white out. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it looks like liquid paper. Um, and then the chessboard, man, you talk about a nice set. Look at this chessboard. Yeah, it's nice. It's some kind of resin, but it's, it's intricately done. Mm -hmm. it, it looks like marble. It's got, a, but, um, we do have a bad corner. Somebody did try to it talk about heavy too. It's oh my God. It's very heavy. It's stupid heavy. It probably weighs what? 10 pounds. I wouldn't be that comfortable shipping that to be honest. It's a shame cause it's nice. Yeah. Um, anyway. The reason we bought it because we said um, if it's not if the, some of the pieces aren't good, the individual ones sell really right. good. So um, all of these, Candace looked at them real quickly, and we think all these are fine. Yeah. So we I, have yeah. twenty three pieces that are good. Yeah. And I guess nine that are not. 
And then we do have, uh, you had that little stack of paperwork over there, yeah, too. Yeah, it, it, th this looked like it was maybe a monthly thing. Right. We got one a month, and they came with a little card, you know, a little information. Yeah, and, and this is Franklin Mint Chess That's Set right. of the Gods. Yeah. And you can see they, there's a little thing for, you know, a little COA for each piece, yeah. as silly as that is. So, um, let so me sh let's show them um, the reason we bought this. Yeah, so, all right. So this is one that I, is seemingly perfect condition. Somebody sold it for $900, okay? Uh, somebody... So, so let me tell you my thought process whenever I see something like this for $100, sight unseen, and I see this, and I'm like, oh, that's good. But then you have to start thinking, what if they're broken? What's the next step? Are we going to be able to recoup money or make money or what? And so scroll down some more. Okay. All and right. then you start seeing this. All right. So it, these are new in box. Right. So obviously that's not a good comp. But uh, like this is one of the the rooks. Somebody sold for forty nine forty five free ship. Mm -hmm. And then you see these other pieces that people have parted out. So no brainer that we had to buy this. Yeah, I think so. And I, I, I knew this, and this is where it stops. There's there's also some actives. Not a ton, though. No, there's uh, 46 results. You can see pe some people are trying to get, like, big-time money for this stuff. Yeah. For the full sets. That one for eight. Oh, that's from Japan. Never mind. <laughs> and then you can see here are the pieces that are all priced super high. Because they're new. Because they're new. And then there's some others that are still kind of high. Yeah. Uh, that we can undercut a little bit if we want to. Yep. And which we probably will, honestly. Yeah, because ours are not like immaculate, even no. the ones not broken. Like um, they're the um, they're like an unfinished bisque porcelain type. So right, they're hard. They'll be hard to clean or whatever. Be, especially the white ones. Like I, I was trying to think, like how are we going to clean these? Because they're going to need to be clean. Maybe a soft toothbrush. And it's going to need to be something um, damp, so they're going to need to dry out afterwards. Um, right. But you don't want to get them too wet because they have like a sticker thing on the bottom, you know. So. Right, so you don't want to like put them in the sink or something like that. Yeah. So uh, we have 23 pieces here. I, we should have about, you know, I I at least $500 in sales from yeah. this. Yeah. So I had to make a de decision on the spot. Uh, I, I did drive uh, almost a half hour, yeah. so it was an hour round trip, and I had to make a decision on the spot once I saw the condition. A, do I still want to buy this at all? And I, I was real close to walking. Or B, do I want to renegotiate the price based on the condition? And That's based, tough because he was already said. He yeah, went, yeah. yeah, but I feel like he, that was kind of part of their plan. Yeah. was to come out oh man my old lady here of two hundred dollars and you know like i i definitely got played to some extent but i had to i wanted to give the dude a hundred dollars take this and leave i didn't want to prolong it i didn't want to argue with this guy in his driveway yeah. i didn't want to do any of that i just wanted to get out of there honestly i was not super comfortable at this buy and yeah, I wanted to take the path of least resistance. I did see there were a lot of pieces that were good. I knew we could sell them individually. I knew we could make uh, good money. So I went ahead and gave them the $100, and I scrammed. Yeah. So uh, it wasn't what they said it was, but I bought it anyway because it was still good enough for us to make a lot of money on it. So yeah. what would y'all have done? What would you have done? I, I still would have bought it. Um you had to be there to see the situation. Exactly, like the situation. Like if y'all would have been in public where they had to drive and and they didn't want to have wasted their time, you might have been able to get them down some. Th that's the thing. That's the thing I was thinking. Like you yeah. never know. I, I knew I had an hour invested. Mm -hmm. Okay. I knew approximately, I knew I was like, okay, get $500 or whatever still. And then I was like, okay, if I try and negotiate with this dude, is this going to go back? Is this going to go bad? Is he going to get... Like, I don't know this dude at all. Right, he he was, might wig out on you. Right, exactly. He might get mad, start screaming at me in his driveway. Yeah. And now now I'm going to... Like, I'm just going to have to leave. And it's all going to be a waste. Right. So, 
I prefer to just go ahead and take the path of least resistance here. Yeah. Uh, and and I'm glad I did, honestly. Yeah, it's going to pay off. Oh, it's going to pay off great. Yep. I would do this every time. It yep. was just, the only thing was, it was just the principle of it, right? Yeah, and th let me tell y'all, when I started looking at them, because I didn't see them until he just brought them in, and I started pulling out the white ones first, and I'm like, okay, is there any good ones? She told me they're all broken, basically. <laughs> no, every I, one I looked at was broken. And then I started getting to some that weren't. But I was like, oh, man, I was scared at first. <laughs> well, what's the worst it could be? Lose $100, $100. in an hour at a time? Yeah. I've done worse than that before. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to pick this up. And we do have eBay orders to pull. It's not always, like, super easy and clear cut. And, I, I mean, I feel like I didn't exactly... The whole, the, the place I was buying at was a little sketchier than I anticipated. I'll just say that. I didn't tell Candace the whole, the whole story. Well, it's interesting because, um, when you left, I pulled up Google maps and I pulled up the house and looked at it and looked like a nice house. It was okay. They weren't living in the house. They were living in a camper next to the house. That's the other thing. I saw this huge camper. I'm like, okay, they have some money. They have a big camper. No. They lived in the camper. Yes. I don't know. I don't know what else is going on. Okay. But then I was just ready to get out of there. Yeah. And be done. That that tells you right there my theory of being able to judge a house, um, a house or whatever by Google Maps it was, doesn't always work. It was it was a little sketchy. Yeah. Before I left, I did give I did take a screenshot. Said Candace, I'm gonna be here if I don't if you never yeah. see me again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go pull some orders. All right, time to pull orders. Lonnie already got a jump start on it. Yeah, I've been, I noticed like we, when we've been pulling orders, we end up having to get boxes down multiple times. So I just went through and got down all the boxes we're gonna need. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. The first item is in that closed B box. It's a Boy Scout pants, it's number four. Yeah, these are, we had a couple of cool pairs of uh, Scout stuff, like the shorts and the pants and stuff. I was kind of surprised how much they were worth, actually. Did I list these? No, I did. I listed them. You were off on Friday. I listed them there. And they're women's pants? Yeah, they are. Oh, that's interesting. Are they, They're B4? Yeah. Switchback? Yeah. They're like zip-off leg or something like that? Yeah. I mean, how did you figure out they were women's? It, said, it, it literally says women's on the oh, tag. Okay. No, that's the only way. I, I wouldn't I have known. I thought you had some kind of trick or something. Oh, no. I do not have any tricks. All right. We have a dog <laughs> camp shirt. Okay. Um, no, it's in the I box, number nine. I nine, okay. It's um, a small, it's a type of cheese. Oh, there's Boy Scout pants on for 30, by the way. 30, all right. Uh, you need another hand? Uh, maybe I should have just gone ahead and just pulled everything, because uh, yeah, there's a lot in here. Nine, it's a small. There should only be one in there. You pull the whole bag out. Okay. Is it that? Yep. Okay. And then in the other box, it's number 15. It's a um, pink coat. 15? Size large. Oh, that's sick. Uh, all right. I actually just about had it. It's this yep. coat right. Does that look right? Yep. It's one of those where the, all the fabric is reflective. That's a size large. It sold for $18. And that camp shirt sold for uh, $12. Okay. Let me get these boxes put back up. All right. Next item is a reversible LSU satin robe oh, for, yeah. for Delta. <laughs> yep. When, when did we even get... Oh, man. It might be in this big thing here. I think it is. All right, let me make the other side is going to be easier access to that. So, you, um, we got this from the sale where you bought all that electronic stuff. Oh. So, what happened was we had a, I had already, like, checked out and bought everything, and it, you were taking a while to pack up. Right. So, I shopped some more, and I found this I didn't see before. So you me, paid a little bit for it, huh? I did. I don't even remember. I, I want to say you paid like ten, five or ten dollars. I did. When I say a little bit, I just mean like I, you know. I think I paid five. It's. I just mean it wasn't like a dollar. That says robe on it. The next one. Is it? Okay. Here, I'm gonna take this. Double check the contents. Candace, we're becoming clothing sellers. You realize that, right? <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. I, I, we don't mind selling a few clothes here and there. Yeah, not on, not on the uh, platform we're supposed to be selling them on. <laughs> what, Poshmark? Yeah. Somebody's going to be watching the, uh, the Tigers in Comfort, huh? Right, oh yeah. Their satin robe. Reversible. That's all for 40 Okay. Six Delta Starbucks Arkansas mug. They have Starbucks in Arkansas? Apparently so. I don't remember seeing one there. <laughs> Even when we went to the big town of Hot Springs. <laughs> Buffalo River. Spinach capital of the world. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Arkansas? I had no, no idea. Hmm. No, but look, we... We may, we love Arkansas. We love it. It's a beautiful state. We it love really, camping there. It is. It's awesome. Twenty dollars for that. Arkansas is underrated. It really is. Their state parks are top notch. You know, um, this is like they have this one state park called Crater of Diamonds. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Where they where you go and you can like you mine for di mine for diamonds. Well, no, they just dig, they have like a field people and then people get the dirt or whatever and they have like places to process it like sluicing stations and people things like that found big diamonds well no that's what i was telling you i'll put it i'll put like a screenshot in but it was like uh i didn't tell you but like did you see the one that somebody found last week uh-uh huge it was the second biggest diamond ever found there or something like that yeah um whenever they have big rains that's when everybody goes out because it uncovers the diamonds yeah some i think it was a kid that found it or something my dad um he was he was always so fascinated with that place for some reason we never went when i was a kid or anything but every time you we would go camping like our us me and you and the yeah. kids we'd go camping in arkansas he would say are y'all gonna go look for diamonds he was just fascinated with it well we we probably would have went but they had so many other um nicer parks to go to yeah, like with not, lakes and stuff not really good camping around there at least not that i know of you, you know my favorite part my favorite thing though is to go to that one campground where <laughs> i swear you i can't remember which one it is i'll, I'll put it but you they have a couple <laughs> well, they, well you 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 set up they have this nice nice lake and everything you're right there in the lake just gorgeous right and then you look out over the lake, and there's a freaking nuclear cooling tower out there. <laughs> um, lake Catherine and Lake Dardanelle. You're probably thinking of Dardanelle. No, Russell, I think. Russellville. Yeah, I'm thinking lake, of Russellville. Lake Dard Dardanelle. Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> okay. Um, next item is some spark plugs on 10 Delta. Okay. We actually had a question. I was going through the comments. Are we out of spark plugs yet? Huh? run out of spark plugs yet? no we still got a lot really oh yeah man i was thinking about that yesterday i think that's probably the best buy we ever you ever did it's a lot i mean i don't know how we I'm paid not, i'm not saying just money wise but just how well and consistently they've sold oh yeah yeah i was yeah would we pay a hundred dollars for all of them yeah. and, we, and we have a lot uh you know what i'll pull it up on the spreadsheet yeah. And right after we pulled this and i'll tell y'all how much we listed them for all right this is a four pack of champion number 470s okay got them right here ten dollars for those okay and i'll pull up the spreadsheet and i'll i'll try and i because i really don't remember how much we listed them all for bought bought a, a huge tote yeah it, it was a big tote uh pretty well loaded mm -hmm. and spark plugs are small yep and they were sorted pretty good too. Yeah, they had a lot of them already sorted in like Ziploc bags. Huh? Yeah, um, yeah. Let, let me pull that up. Oh well, I was wrong. I don't. I don't know how. It was a couple of grand though, right? It's like it's somewhere around two thousand. I I can't find the spreadsheet. Yeah. All right. Great let's... buy. All right, we sold another mustache in the cube. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, that's how it was last last Halloween. Halloween, the costume stuff is starting to pick up. All right. And all we really have right now is dogs and mustaches. We do have a lot of Justin Bieber wigs. Yeah. And red fishnet stockings if anyone's in need of those things. <laughs> yeah, those didn't sell last year either, though. <laughs> I did cross uh, cross list them to Poshmark. Okay, maybe they'll sell. Um, the only problem with that is, like, the fishnet stockings and stuff. Nobody wants to pay seven ninety nine to ship that. I know. Is it one of these handlebars again? Yeah, $9 for that. Okay. Uh, we sold some promo prints for Star Trek. 
11 Alpha P18. Okay, I think they're actually under that box. All right, got them down. They were under there. Got to them fast. Yeah, well, that's eight prints. We sold them for $18. Yeah, these are actually cool. I'm surprised he didn't, these didn't sell a long time ago. Sold a Tarzan comic book, K6. Okay. Working. Currently working on getting more comics. Don't know. Sorry for this awesome camera work, y'all. I'm trying to stand these things up. All right, yeah, working on getting more comics. Love selling comics. Say K6. Here we go. This is uh, Tarzan number two fifteen. Yep. Look, it's a twenty cent comic, and look at the look at the condition of it. Oh, that's amazing. The colors are so bright. Yeah, you know what else helps though? It's got like a. Um, this is not your standard bag. Mm. This is a uh, mylar. It makes it, it look better. Oh, gotcha. See the, what the uh, bag is made out of is mylar. Um, that sold for $13.49. Okay. That's everything on eBay. We did sell another nut cracker. Wow, that's almost nothing. Look. Well, yeah. That's what, like 10 orders? Not, not, yeah, it's 10 orders, right? Four, yep. five, six. But look how small everything I know. Is. Usually yeah. it like fills the bench. Okay, what else we got? Um, we sold a nutcracker on Etsy again. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, five Charlie dash L. It's a green soldier. Okay. You got to look at them. Although it must be, I'm guessing it's this guy. I think so, because it looks like he has something across his kind of like that. The Grand Poobah. <laughs> yep, that's him. Okay. Sold him for $60. Plus, um, plus shipping. Plus ship on yeah. that. Okay, nice. See that? that is what we want is to sell stuff like that on etsy yes that's huge because we have so many of those i'm gonna um i've been cross listing the nutcrackers and i'm pretty close to being done cross listing oh i didn't know that yeah i was up since we started selling on there i'm like okay let me just go ahead and knock it out and um probably by tomorrow I'll, I'll think i'll have them all cross listed oh that's awesome it's easy it's pretty fast for me now because i made a rule for shipping these so i don't have to go in and fill in all the shipping mm -hmm. info um i simply have like a medium and a large shipping yeah because flat the shipping rate so like the mediums are what like 10 12 bucks or 12 something and the large are 15. okay yeah. that's good yeah that'll it, work like the large ones if we're off by a buck or two or whatever that's fine we just eat it you know right so because you can't do that's on etsy we they, they don't, don't have ups no they they don't have usp they don't have ground advantage do they they do but when you go to do your calculated shipping it's not an option but when you go to buy your shipping it is yeah yeah it's uh, weird they have not fixed their system so we have to put in like a flat rate shipping yeah. for that yeah which is fine okay i'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff packed up okay we actually skipped one thing because we were skipping around it's actually the first thing yeah the we first should have pulled that's old yesterday um it's on eight bravo it's a back again um battle pack in the box okay Oh, okay. I see it. No, I got it. I, I'm trying to remember where the heck we got this from. I picked it up at a garage sale, probably about. Oh, I remember now. Yeah. The would, lady's like, hurry up before my kids see you buying it or something like that. Would you pay like five bucks for it or something? I think so. I sold it for 30. Okay, now, now we're done. Yep. All right, Candace and I are having a nice relaxing day. She's got her... I got my dolls. Topper Dawn stuff. Mm -hmm. And I've been over here just kind of grinding away at these uh, chess pieces. I've only got... You know what? what? We're both working with things that we have a passion for. Yeah, true. 
Yeah, Lonnie loves chess and I love dolls. Yeah, I don't love chess pieces though. <laughs> <laughs> like, basically, they're like figurines. I mean, it's fun. It's fun. I, I, I mean, I do like it. Uh, I have had to clean. Um, I've done a lot of cleaning and brushing off and then trying to get the lint off like these cosmetic brushes have been awesome for that so yeah um, it's that um that bisque porcelain that's just kind of it doesn't have a smooth finish so any it attracts dust and lint and stuff just sticks to it right so but these I, brushes really get that off good the brushes are good because I'm, I'm able to at least dust them off real well and then i want that then when i go to clean them i use a q-tip the problem with using a q-tip is it that bisque like candace said it's gonna like grab the little things and then i just let it dry once it dries i go back with the brush again yeah. and the brush gets the lint off really well actually yeah. so and i was you know i was telling lonnie a good thing i found with cleaning things really well before you go to start listing and photographing and yep. everything you will if you're cleaning it well especially with a q-tip a getting in there you're going to see any little broken yep. parts or damage or anything. Yep. So we started with, we had 23 good ones. And I've listed. 17 is what you have. 17. Mm -hmm. Which means I'm missing one somewhere. <laughs> or maybe you didn't write one on your um. No, I, I pro you know what? I might have chunked one that was like really bad. But uh, yeah, all these, I think I found, I think these guys all had some kind of flaw. Yeah, look, his shield yep. is broken. We didn't notice that before. Uh, this guy. It was something towards the bottom. Yeah, there's a piece of the rock chipped off there. And we can still sell those like that because they aren't bad. But definitely issues okay this has a little spot of glue here and there's some paint loss on the um on his uh trident on the pole for his trident you know that definitely still sellable these these guys he has a super minor chip on one wing and then oh this guy has some uh that gold paint loss going around the edge there so i'm still going to list all those but um gonna have to list them a little cheaper than the others now the others this is so far i, I mean like maybe we have a hundred dollars there mm -hmm. just with those five yep but the others i've already listed uh 17 of them for 536 dollars so we're, we're gonna be over over 600 dollars just on the uh the replacement chess pieces now it's going to take a while maybe it's it, it's, it's probably we're probably going to get our money back within a month or so mm -hmm. but then it's probably going to be i'm i think it's going to probably be like a year or two to sell everything well, i mean i know you don't see a lot of solds but there's also not a lot of actives true so maybe that's why there's not a lot of solds. and some of the actives are like really expensive too yeah. so we'll, we'll see i definitely priced uh competitively I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. So, how's your Topper Dawn stuff going? It's going good. I've been listing outfits. Um, I just went to this website, um, the one I showed y'all. I did find some other good ones. But um, I'm just going down, like, she has her dolls. And when you click on them, it shows them in all the different outfits. I'm just going down by the outfit and seeing if I have the outfit and then listing it. Yeah. Um, so, so far, I've listed 10 outfits for $195. Okay. So, yeah, we got... We've got something good going here. I, I haven't even listed a doll yet in that total. So I'm, I'm almost to the money back and not even into the dolls yet. And still right. a lot of uh, clothing left. Well, you found in the past accessories are just huge, huge money. They And again, they can take a while to sell too. Yeah. Um, like most of these are averaging $15, $20 for the outfit. So That's they, a lot of money for that little bitty scrap of cloth. Mm -hmm, yeah. And I say they take a while, but we've sold Barbie accessories, American Girl doll, uh, Monster High, mm -hmm. and like pretty much everything you've listed is sold. Yeah, there's a few little Me things here and there, but yeah, the sell through rate is really good. It, it's it's better than you might think. Yeah. So hopefully it continues with that. 
But we're going to keep on listing today, and we will see y'all again in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Morning, Good. Candace. Good morning. We're in here with our coffees, and... Lonnie's celebrating. <laughs> what am I celebrating? He glanced at the orders, and he's like, I don't have to get any dog boxes down. Well, uh, actually, I'm actually we do one time. Oh, we do for yeah. Macari. Yeah, but uh, I'm 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 actually not. I don't know. That's a double. Ed I'd I'd rather we were getting them down. I know. Be, <laughs> honestly, for eBay, but it is kind of nice. I'll yeah. be honest. Yeah. All right. You want to go ahead and get started pulling orders? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. I feel like the carriers will get here earlier today. Yeah. Um. We sold those Fendi yellow eyeglass boxes we picked up for free from a yard sale. CC fourteen. Yeah, we got these from a um, from an optometrist. Yeah. Uh oh. CC fourteen, huh? Yeah. All right. Turn the camera off for a second. I drug this down. F f dropped a bunch of stuff on my head. He had spark plugs falling on his head. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh at you. <laughs> no, you really should not. You're right. But yeah, those boxes are in here. I'm not sure if I'm... I probably won't ship them in this box. They feel kind of loose in there, too. Yeah. Um, sold those for $18. Um, five Charlie. Lonnie sold a Nan, a Caro Nan purse. Why are you saying Lonnie? Because you were just thinking about it the day before. Oh, I was. I was thinking that thing ain't never going to... I... I pulled a cracker that was like right here yes uh a couple days ago i saw this i'm like oh that thing ain't never gonna sell and a few hours later boom it sold i think it's going all the way to japan oh that's cool yeah um thirty dollars for that yeah that but we paid up for that a little bit like i think 10 or 12 or something yeah like that. yeah it was at an estate sale on the last day yeah uh alien drawer <laughs> I'm so shocked he sold. Um, three CoverGirl eye pencils. Why? What's so shocking about that? Because they're just CoverGirl. You can buy it like at Walmart. Okay. Uh, $10 for those. Uh, they're white eyeliner, so I imagine somebody's probably getting ready for Halloween. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Another thing that we were shocked to see sell, just shocking stuff this morning. Oh, really? Is it? Okay. I'm it ready. Really Wait, is. brace yourself. What do you think it is? Um, I oh, I know what it is. What I, is it? It's an antenna. Yeah, in the cube. We sold yeah. an antenna. Yeah, the so one ever. yeah, we've. I don't know how many of these we have. Like well, y'all can see though, there's a lot of them there. Uh, we paid twenty dollars for all of them. Yeah. And we this, have we have twenty five left. Yeah, our our goal is to one a year <laughs> to, well my goal is to live as long as it takes to sell all these yeah. that would be awesome yeah because it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a while, be a while. <laughs> 13 dollars for that okay i mean hey we are probably just barely in the profit now at least right yeah after selling two the rest yeah. of them they're well, just taking up space now not really. They're I mean, taking up money. They're taking up one one little part of the a cube. Whole cube to themselves. One a cubette. That's nothing. <laughs> okay, this next thing I don't know what it is. It's a tracking module on Four Bravo. We have three of them. Four Bravo. Yeah. They, they bought. Wait, I'm confused. Am Cal I am I pulling three? No. I'm just pulling one. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it is. Four. It's some kind of. It, it's a GPS tracker. It is a GPS tracker, but I'm not I'm wondering if it's in this box. I think it might be. Let's see. I think it is in this box. Where did we get those? I think, uh, I, you know what? I think I got these at a garage sale for real cheap. So it's not this whole thing, huh? There's, it says we have three in stock. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know. Oh yeah, we do. There's three in here. Okay. And there's right. three sets of wires and three whatever that other okay. thing is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and pull one of those out. Okay, went ahead and got that out. So we got mounting hardware. 
the little tracking tracking unit itself and then some kind of wiring harness for it. Uh, right. Thirty-seven dollars and forty-nine cents for that. Okay. Um, something else we talked about just last week that we've had for over a year. CC8. It's a Daryl Dixon costume, and I told Lonnie I said that thing's gonna sell this Halloween because there's the new show that's out. I think it already started, and sure enough, we just talked about it last week and it sold. Where is it at? Eight. It's supposed to be on eight. Yeah. Eight. Okay. This is probably it right here. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So it's got the ear necklace and everything. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> sold that for thirty dollars. Okay. Lonnie sold a chess piece in the Boba Fett drawer, which is over here. Let me uh move my little dollies out the way. You only have one in there. It's a white knight. I think so. I've been. I wrote on. Um, I started writing on, on the all bags. the on the bags, the color and the piece. Because they're so fragile, instead of just sticking them in a drawer, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. I had to bubble. I bubble wrap all of them like this after yeah. I finish. Yes, the white knight, forty dollars for that one. Okay, nice. I have. I listed all the ones yesterday except for these five. These are like scratch and dent ones that have like minor defects mostly. Uh, any of that have major defects, I already tossed them. Yeah. But those have like minor defects. So I'm going to finish listing those today. Yep. Hey, we sold a hat. Look, it's a hat box. Yeah, I know. I didn't uh, know that was there. It's a vintage yellow shoe snapback. It's purple with a yellow brim. Okay. Or gold brim. How do you well, that's not vintage. I, mean, I see two purple ones down at the bottom. Let's see. Very bottom. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. This one's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, that's got a very good look to it. Yeah. So we sold that one for $33.74. Yeah, so that's that's one of the things that keeps you going on the hats. Every now and then you score one like that for a dollar. And yeah, like, the vintage ones with the cool graphics. They always do well. It's probably made in the USA. Let's see. Yes, it is. Yep, that's a Paramount hat. Made in USA. Sure is. All right, we saw the Star Wars comic. Get back over here. Look at these big NHRA stickers on this, did y'all? Yeah, those are cool. Okay. What is this? This is um, your clothes you were working on when I was out. Oh, okay. I'll put, I'll put that up because we're getting, we're getting kind of messy over here. Yeah. So we sold number two. And I need to list some more because now we're down to just one. Oh, yeah. Definitely need to list some more. Need to get some more up today, probably. Yeah. Let me just double check that that is the right one. Tell me what you see on it. Okay. Um, the great fung fungi towers of Kessel shudder under a threat they have never known before. Never before known. Earthquake. And then it has a scene with... Wait. What, you just look at it. <laughs> That's, all That's the one. same one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to read the whole thing. To you. you know what I was thinking. $22.49. Okay. Uh, we sold a Hermione... CC8, it's a little stuffed doll. Hey, before before Harry Potter came out, had you ever heard of the name Hermione before? No, but it might be common. Uh, that's why that's why I was asking you. Is that okay. a common thing in the UK? I don't Hermione? Know. I've never heard of that name in my life. UK viewers, can y'all chime in and let us know? You think a lot of kids are named? You think a lot of kids are named Hermione now? Yes. If you're in the UK and grew up in the UK when you were a child, did you know anyone named that? <laughs> but I wonder if now people are naming their kid Hermione. Probably so. Huh. Oh yeah. Um, Ten dollars for that. Okay. We sold a real Five Bravo Right Blood, Sweat, and Tears self-titled. I've been watching for a while. Y'all know that these have been like really just disappearing. Doing pretty well. Here we go. Looks like self-titled Blood, Sweat, and Tears to me. Yep, that's it. Got it. $20 for that one. Okay. We sold a book signed by Jerry Falwell, Treasury of David on Nine Echo. Nine Echo? Nine Echo. That's not a place we usually put books. No. Delta Echo. Man, all the way down there. Is it two books or one? Uh, yeah, two volume books. Okay. okay. All 
ready. Well, you know what hasn't sold is that Lion yeah, that Petroleum. That was a bust. Well, so far, might maybe it'll sell over over holidays or something. All right, those books sold for twenty-seven for okay. the pair. And then on Macari, we do have a dog item we need to get down. Okay. I need to figure out where it is. All right. We got down B3. It's a large snake. I make sure you put a little extra on that S. Snake. Somebody saw that I could wear it as a hat, so they were on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sold that for $18. Okay. That's everything? That's everything going out. Okay. You know, um... The cross posting thing, it's been it's starting to pick pick it, up and it work is. out, yeah. It really is. You just gotta you gotta put a ton of work into it though, don't you? We do. Um so I put a lot of work into getting all the dog items cross posted, which I think really paid off. Oh yeah. And then the nutcrackers, I got them all cross posted and that we're that's paying off. Now I need to just backtrack and go back to all the other stuff. Right. Here's the thing about the nutcrackers. I was plugging along cross listing them on the Etsy not even thinking or looking that Etsy only allows 10 photos yeah so I'm gonna have to go back and tweak some of those listings because you know well, on the nutcrackers we utilized every photo of eBay and gave if us. there are issues you have to show those right. pictures yeah so you're gonna have to cut out some of the non-issue pictures yes yeah, so oh that's not gonna be fun I flew through cross listing them because I, I you know didn't do that but now i need to go back so it, that's going to take some time so Ugh, i know that sounds horrible it does so i'm not looking forward to that but we have to do it so and then i need to get back to cross listing just the regular stuff all right packages are all away i'm about to start working on the last of my chess pieces and then i'll get on i'll probably I'll probably Candace. I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and get on stickers since you already sorted a mm -hmm. bunch out. So yeah, um, was that two days ago, huh? Yeah. I came in and you pre-made lots. Yes. Okay. So I, I made lots of twenty. Okay, I'll go ahead and get to that then. They're That'll, ready to yeah. Just are you cool up. with that? Oh yeah, that's fine. Because I know you. I I don't want you to stop. Like we we no. did tag team this before. I don't want you to stop with what you're doing though. What you're doing is important with this. Uh... Yeah, cause it's not just grabbing an outfit. I'm having to research and like the doll I just listed is back here. She was, when we got her, she was wearing this dress right here. This is the original dress she came in that was mixed in. So I changed out and I'm selling her with her original outfit. Well, that's got to be nice having all those options with the clothes and stuff and the shoes and everything mm -hmm. you, it, like yeah. even if you don't have the original you can at least put together something nice yeah i mean yeah because some of these clothing were sold just like like barbie had the fashion packs or whatever just extra clothes you could buy these did too um i'll put a picture of of, of an example or two here because i saw how, how it came yeah. yeah with a little mannequin thing. right yeah mm-hmm um, so yeah, I'm hoping to have all their original outfits so I can sell them like that. Yeah. We had someone reach out to us. Our, she uh, only had like maybe 10 listed so far and she wanted to buy five things this morning and was asking about shipping. So we went in and decided to do this. We changed it. Um, so every, every top or dawn item, like in that category, every listing um, will sell for a, will ship for a $4 flat fee, shipping fee. And anything additional they purchase, any additional listing will ship for free. Let me show y'all. So yeah, we made a shipping roll for that. So look, this is one of the listings here for this uh, negligee. And you can see Candace put it in the description right here. Um, please see our category, whatever. Buy one, topper dawn, blah, blah, blah. And each additional ships free. And then the way you do that, um, I'll show y'all, go in and revise the listing. I'll show you what it looks like here. The shipping section, we did flat rate, which we don't normally do, but uh, pretty much this stuff is all gonna ship, even if they buy like, they can buy like five outfits or something. It's still not gonna be a pound. It's, it's, no, it's gonna be like four ounces. Yeah. It's gonna be like four ounces. That stuff is small and light. So uh, yeah, we did flat rate, $4, and then, 
flat shipping rule. LPS each additional free. That's an old rule we had from um, when we bought a big um, Lola's Pet Shop lot. So we made that rule for those. And we put them in a separate category just like this. Um, that they could, you know, buy one and get every, anything else ships for free after that first. Right. And so to set that up, you just go go back to main eBay page. You just go to your settings here, account settings. Then you go down to shipping preferences here. And then this is where, um, wait, where, where is it? Oh, use offer discounts. Okay. Flat shipping rule. Yeah, here. flat shipping rule is right here. And if I hit edit, we can see them. And we've had, we've done different ones that are actually kind of the same in some cases mm -hmm. but you can see here's lps each additional ships free or you can see where some we did where each additional was only a dollar or 50 cents right you can you have flexibility to, to um do that if it's not as heavy or whatever right. and the idea if i'm shopping if if i'm a collector and i'm shopping it makes sense to me that like if i could buy one and then, okay, now I've got free shipping for everything else. I'm going to be like, oh, wow, I need to take advantage of this. Now, you know, normally um, we don't use this. We'll just, if they buy multiple items, we'll just refund the extra shipping whenever the items are packed. Um, but that, that'll that kind of sometimes discourage people from buying multiples because they don't want to wait to get their money back. And they don't even know we're going to do it anyway. Right. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think that's going to... I think that's smart in this case because like i was telling candace this is a good market for this stuff but i don't know it. it's a huge market like barbie or something you know right. so like when we do get interested customers we need to maximize them we should all i guess we should always be looking to maximize but i think in this particular case uh we def like order size is important yeah i'll tell you what let me see if i can find an example i feel for the poor moms that had to deal with this so I don't know if y'all can see this. Look at these little bitty buttons and little loops that you had to. Can you imagine kids trying to do that? Like connect that together like no. that? Some of them, the loops are really small. I'm so, surprised that's still good. I know. So I did like, here's one, like the loop I think is gone on this one, you know? Yeah. Um. So they looks like they later went to a different system where it's just like a, a metal hook that hooks down into like a piece of elastic or mm. trim. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I, it's not been fun trying to get those little buttons buttoned up. Oh, I bet not. Yep. Okay. So yeah, that's our plan for today. I'm on the dolls and he's going to do chests and stickers. That's it. That's yeah. the plan. That's mm -hmm. all. Like that's simple. I like that. Yeah. Kind of put my headphones in and like, I, I think it's funny. Like you guys watch us work and sometimes I've been watching, uh, this London Eats channel, and I like it because it's a guy, he goes, he drives, he scooters, he has scooters and electric bikes. He just takes out whatever that day. And um, he just goes around London delivering food and stuff, and I, I find it fascinating. I also like the scenery. Yeah, you can see all the cool um, yeah. architecture and stuff that we don't have here. Yeah, it's cool, and like, it, but it's weird. I'm We're working filming ourselves working for other people to watch us work while i'm watching this dude work yeah like we just all like watching each other work it's weird <laughs> all right back to work okay it's after lunch now candace is working on her um what are those things called uh they're they're topper toys uh dawn dawn and her friends yeah dawn that. i thought i had dawn here but i don't this is one of there's a, there is a series called. The, uh, whoa, whoa, easy, easy. <laughs> I'm covering her her pretty under things. Okay. <laughs> um, modeling agency dolls. This is a model, and that portfolio we had goes to her. Okay. Yeah. It's. Uh, I saw it. And her dress. Was I saw on it another, earlier. It's, it might be over here somewhere. Her dress was on another doll, but this looks to be a good one. Um, oh wow! Oh. Yeah. They got over a hundred dollars. Yeah. Here's another person's listing. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe auctioning her. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this but is, this show, is, this show is their listings again. 
-hmm. those people oh they, yeah yeah this part they, they man they do a bang up job look they have they have like a little apartment set up <laughs> with doll furniture yeah they have they probably have a big doll house you know how some of those doll houses can be like this tall mm -hmm. they probably have one like that and they use one of the upper some of the upper floors of it to yeah. do their photo shoots and it looks amazing all of their stuff looks like that yeah with the furniture and everything i mean obviously you gotta have to be real explicit about look yeah, there they are there look this one's got a uh a guitar and stuff <laughs> sitting there go back to that go back to the part where it shows them all mm. yeah look look at all look at all their layouts there they are doing a bank man that is some nice work but they even change up the rug and stuff yeah that's some that's some great work isn't it yeah and they get top dollar for their stuff too yeah yeah like okay. they they get i would say above top dollar just because they put so much effort into it and they probably have a, a big following too oh i'm sure they do and they do auctions and i don't, I don't know where they keep getting these dolls at but i want to find out <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to tell you <laughs> I'm going to message him and ask him. Yeah. Hey, where what is the source of all of your inventory? <laughs> uh, well, by the way, I did discover something else a while ago. It looks like they came out with some repops of these, so be careful of that. How, how would you go about telling? Like, is there a mold mark or something? Uh, yeah, there is marks on their bah uh -huh. And their heads each have a different head mold, so... You know. Does it have a year on it, or does it just have, like, a made-in? Honestly, I haven't even looked, because... Let me find them. Their panties are hard to get off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not going to go. Look, I'm just going to ignore that you said that. <laughs> okay. I think I've, I mean, any, nothing I could say. See, I mean, because they got like little bitty waist. They look like they wear diapers, really. There's little bitty waist in these. See, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm scared to force their. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared to force panties off too, Candace. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Can you see, make anything out? Yeah, it says, uh, it has a year. This is 1970, and then it says Topper Corp, Hong Kong. It's interesting to me too. Something I noticed. I don't know if y'all can tell. Oh, now we get full, full crack, full moon. <laughs> Their waist is like slanted. Do you see that? Oh yeah. It's not straight across. Huh. I don't know if y'all can make that out, but the waistline. Is it always like that? Yeah, all of them. It goes down at a slant. E interesting. Yeah. So Candace is working on that stuff and um she also like we said she made all these lots of stickers but these aren't listed they're just bagged in lots of 20 hopefully yeah there's a sticker just sitting no, here that's the hooker stickers i'm gonna do that we're gonna do those separately. i love my hooker headers okay yeah. But the, look, look, they put headers real small. Of I, know. Course. I love my hooker. I know. <laughs> but um, Candace made bags of 20s. So I'm going to take y'all through um, how easy it is to do a listing. I mean, I may even make it look kind of hard. But look, we have our light set up here. We have one of our um, project trifold boards here, the black one, just laid out there. This is one I just did. This was C3, if y'all can see that. So I'm going to take y'all through the entire process of creating one of these listings. I'll just grab the next bag, dump the stickers, and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write this is going to be C4 for this one. So I'll put that on the bag, set the bag over there. And the next thing I'm going to do is, this is the part that Candace, if she was watching this, watching us work right now, she'd probably cringe because she's, she's a, you know, obviously going to be way better. She's better at layout kind of stuff or whatever. I just kind of, just kind of put the, put the stickers up here, however they are, as long as I think they'll fit into frame whenever I go to take the photos. That's all I care about. But her doing this work ahead of time, picking out which stickers, up here. picking out all the stickers, making sure there's the right number of stickers, etc. That's really a huge part of the work for making these listings. So I'm able to come in now and my work is super easy. I do use a step stool and i also use my cell phone just because it's better for taking these particular pictures so 
these are the last group i did first thing i'll do is i'll come in here and i still have them selected because i just airdropped them now i'm just going to delete them okay and then we'll hop back up here and first i'm going to take one photo showing all of them all right and then the next photo is going to be like this now go back up here again and then that way people can kind of get a feel for how big the stickers are all right that away move the step stool and then I'm just gonna come back make sure I have the right orientation and I'm just gonna do probably like six seven photos that are tighter to where people can see everything a little better okay so now I'm done get out of there go back into my photos app all right Throw my bag over here and i still have this is the listing c3 okay so i'm going to just create similar and first thing i'm going to do i'm going to remove all these photos and then i'm just going to increment the location i'm going to hit upload photos and then i this is what i'm doing i'm just deleting The previous photos and then on the iPhone and hit select drag and then tap my iMac and then they'll populate right here there they are open and then wait for them to upload I'll just make sure that they're all in the right orientation. I might even make a quick glance just to make sure it's the right photos because all these photos start looking the same. C4, C4, that's all we need to do because everything else applies. We already have the 14.99. We have the 12 ounces, everything's here. And then I just hit list. And then when it comes back up and it says your listing is now live, I leave it right there because I'm now I'm ready to click create similar listing for the next batch. So uh, thought y'all might want, and then the last step is I have to pick all these up, bag them, put them in there, and then I grab the next one. And just thought I just thought y'all might be interested to see exactly how we do it when we have like um, some bulk. These are super super easy, especially with Candace pre-bagging them for me like that. All right, I went through, uh, well, Candace, you need to make some more lots for me. So you need some s'mores? Some yeah. s'more, yeah. You need s'mores. Yeah, I'm out of my lots. I did 15 lots, and look at this number. This is the number for the sticker listings. Now, the 20 count, that's not accurate. Yeah. Because we combine, like, this two, 225, is, which is what I put in today, um that that was all of them so the count is not accurate the num the money number is so we're at 12.85 now and we've sold through a bunch we've sold yeah. a bunch today um I'm, I'm very pleased with how how well they're selling that's been like that's been a home that's been top 20 yeah probably yeah top 20 ever big score yeah it didn't feel it felt like a big it felt like a big score when we bought it it didn't feel like a colossal score yeah i thought oh man we might make four or five hundred dollars off of that right that's about what i was thinking but no we're gonna make more but it was you know the reason is be because you were planning a lot in and up at first and that's probably what we would have made if we had sold like oh bigger lots a couple of big lots yeah it, it's it's weird it's always difficult to know like when you're making lots like there's a point where okay if you sell one it's not enough money to be worthwhile but then, like, if you sell 10 or 20 of that thing, well, now that's a good number. But then if you go 50 or 100, now people are, now the the price per piece has gotten to the point where you're 
you haven't maximized like there's a sweet spot you know to maximize yeah. profit versus effort yeah well i mean we definitely wouldn't want to sell one stick no at a time. <laughs> no although you could i guess nah. that's uh, i wouldn't do it nah. but i mean you could Oh, you could a lot, and people do. Could you imagine though, like, like if all we sold was stickers, right? I always think about this when we sell know. things. I'm <laughs> like, what if that's all we sold? Hmm. And I would hate reselling if that's all we did. Like, like let's say, let's say we well, here here we are pulling our sticker orders, and then we had to pull like, like let's say we're really good at selling stickers, and okay, I got to ship out a hundred sticker orders that we made you know three hundred dollars on or something like that that no. i don't know the money would still the money versus time would probably be right and packing is easy right yeah it's probably like it's probably not a bad way to go if you're set up to you know just like you see the people that do just patches patches yeah postcards yeah like the people that really get niched up i mean they they could probably are like highly highly efficient highly organized Everything's probably very fast. It's yep. so like even if they're making like two or three dollars per item or something. Even when they're outsourcing, they only have that one thing to look for, you know? Yeah, now that's the part where I, th that's the part I don't like. Yeah, because how do you walk by something you know is worth money I, to resell and not buy it? You don't source like that if you do, if you niched up into stickers or something. I think you do a whole lot of your sourcing on eBay. And you would be the one that would buy the big lots. Okay. That, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're not going to drive around town hoping you run, hit, find Well, not sti stickers. I'm talking about, like, patches and postcards and stuff like that. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Does I, I don't yeah. know. Like, you can't source the way we source if you're that niched up. Probably not. Because <laughs> you're just going to waste a bunch of gas. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, but, yeah, um, I did all this, this side over here, all 15 lots. Candace been doing her Dawn Dolls. Yep. And the then... Dawn Dolls. We're actually doing this, like we've talked about doing this before, where Candace was thinking, ah, I might list this one for 60 bucks. Yeah. But it might be worth more, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, because like the last four or five um, solds in the last 90 days were anywhere from like $60 to $125, you know. So, and I didn't, she doesn't have any major flaws, so I just didn't know where she fell in that category. Yeah. So, so um, now you're gonna find out. Yeah, we'll start her at the bottom and see what happens. Yeah. So if she's if it sells for sixty, that's fine. Mm. If anything more than sixty is all bonus, right? Right. It's all laying out that yeah. you wouldn't have gotten. Right. So I, I, I like that approach. And if it doesn't get bought at all, then now you know you gave it a shot, and then now you're like, all right, I'll just she's list like, it for sixty. Yeah. And wait. See if somebody. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.